So speaking of going back to work or school, I want to ask this question. I'll ask Dr. Spencer this question. Generally speaking, after being diagnosed with a concussion, for a student, when is it safe for them to go back to school? Is there like a general rule of thumb or things that you're looking for as a clinician to, to tell them when they can go back to school? So my general rule of thumb is they have to have a significant decrease in symptoms. I think with some of these kids, they have very prolonged symptoms. And for them to, to expect them to rest until they're asymptomatic, that's not always realistic. And quite frankly, that's not in their best interest. I think some of the newer studies that have looked at rehab and how we get people better, it's actually detrimental for them to go on total rest. When their symptoms have decreased, when they're able to get through a normal day, do some of their normal activities and, and not be completely fatigued and just with their initial taking care of themselves, I think that's when it's time to push them and at least start out with at least some of the time going back to their normal activities and going back to school. Uh, with that, I think you're going to have a handful of kids that do bounce back, that don't tolerate it the first few days, but I think it's a fine balance between when it's too early and, and, and letting them have too much rest. The, the uh, rule of thumb that I remember from going through my days, and again, I agree, Dr. McCoy, when we were at Loyola as medical students, we didn't really touch, talk about this hardly at all. And now, again, I just love to see that we've grown as a society to embrace a topic like this and have just more create, to create more public awareness. Um, but I was kind of thinking as an intern, as an intern, they're going to say, all right, you need to rest. Um, and I say, I don't want you really doing much of anything, just, just to rest. Hard for some people to do, of course, seeing like a busy professional and I'm seeing, a, seeing adults. But when can somebody like get engaged in maybe using their brain? And, and I could maybe go back to Dr. Spencer as you're describing, you know, what are you looking for in kids? When can they read a book again? When can they engage in like brain activity? I'll ask that question to Dr. McCoy. Yeah, so one, we don't have a perfect answer. Uh, two, the pendulum has really swung heavily on this. Uh, again, you have the American Academy of Neurology, my academy. In the late 1990s, we put out a position statement about concussion. If you had a concussion, less than 15 minutes of symptoms, you didn't lose consciousness, you could return to the field of play that day. Um, then, then in with uh, particularly FIFA and some European agencies, they put out guidelines uh, in about 2012, um, where went completely in another direction. Absolutely no activity whatsoever until you're asymptomatic. It, it is, Dr. Spencer mentioned, well, the problem with that becomes that can be a long time. Um, it's similar to when in the past we said, well, if you have a back injury, just lay, stay in bed for a long time. Yeah, we used well, to say that a lot. <laughs> it turns out it, it makes it last longer. So um, uh, trying to find that, that balance is really challenging. The other reality is we could take 100 people, give them all the same hit, and you're going to get 100 different outcomes. So it has to be individualized. Uh, for me, when I'm talking to either athletes or adults, um, I want them to try to rest. I want them while well, they're symptomatic for the first maybe 24, 48 hours. Um, I want them to get back into some activity. So light walking, um, light exercise. I think reading is fine. Um, I, I really ask them to try to minimize electronics. So try to minimize television with fast moving objects, try to minimize uh, screen time, which is probably a good idea in general, um, until they are progressing through and getting to the point where they can do activities without symptoms. No video games then for uh, our teenagers that are playing Halo and all this kind of stuff? So you know, I thought about this and thought, well, am I giving good advice? My feeling was, I'm probably giving good advice, period, saying don't play video games. So uh, particularly a symptomatic athlete or adult, me telling them, listen, put down the TV and the, the video games for 48 hours, I'm probably doing them a favor anyway. Uh, I think there's some <laughs> reason. the last time they did that? That's what I said. Correct. <laughs> um, you know, particularly if they're, if they're still symptomatic, I think that's, that's the right thing to do.